Hello, my name is Julie. I am the creator of Treasures Made From Yarn. And I thought today I would do totally something different and create a video for you, which is something that is totally different for me and I hope to do more of in the future. So please bear with me. So this video is an update on the blue hats I am making for the Hat Not Hate organization. In a nutshell, it is an anti-bullying campaign that distributes crocheted and knitted hats to schools throughout the nation. I will leave a link for that in the description. So this first hat I have up, I made following a YouTube video. I believe it is, some, it is a Celtic weave pattern for this. And the yarn I made was the Carry On Marble Cakes, which is this, this one. So I, I thought it was a little big, but I think it'll it'll be fine. So on to my next hat. This hat, I don't know if you can tell, is one of the few knitted ones I did. Most of my hats are crocheted. So all this is is got a rib, bit one pearl one rib with a basic bas basket weave pattern. And I believe I used a size eight needle for those. And the yarn I used was the mainstays done, which you can find at Walmart. So this next hat is the crochet hat I just recently finished. It is pretty based on the pattern you can find on the Hat Not Hate org. I did a little tweaking to this one, but all this one is is extended single crochet going around in a continuous rounds. An extended crochet, all that is, is that it's like a normal cro single crochet, but you add an extra loop. You've drawn out, you draw up an extra loop to make the extended crochet. So I like how this turned out. I am currently making another hat just like this. So stay tuned for that in the future. So this hat's kind of unique. It is a combination of using knitting. The, the rib is knitted. That was kind of hard to see because this, this, is, this is a dark color, but it is, I knitted the brim for this, and then I went into a, and then I crocheted the rest of the hat, which is a single crochet chain one around and then you would do the and you would do the single crochet in the chain one space. So I think believe this is called the linen stitch and it's kind of unique. I'm not sure if I'll do another one because it's kind of the knitted brim is kind of the fabric's kind of thin ish and then it, the crocheted version is kind of thicker. So I'm not quite sure how I feel, but I thought it was kind of I thought it was something I want to try is a combination of knit and a crochet hat. This next this next hat is the last I think is the other knitted one and all this is is a rib of knit three and pearl three don't remember what needle size it is but it is it turned out really small I'm, I'm hoping they'd be able to give this to somebody probably a very young child a kindergarten or first grade because I'm beginning to think I might give this to my my youngest son I'm thinking it's too small but I will send it anyway, and if they can use it, they'll use it. I know hats they get that they can't use, they will donate to another organization, so. This next hat is also similar to a hat I just did. It's also pretty much the same same one, like the one found on the Hat Not Hate. It's the extender crochet. The only difference is I think I did the first few rows in the back loops, and then I had this where I did a did a, a single crochet around multiple rows. So this is, I don't know if I mentioned what yarn this was. This is done by the Carrion Cakes yarn. This is, I believe is blueberry. Blueberry cheesecake is the yarn for this one. This hat is the prototype of the pattern I just wrote, which is it. Is a textured, the textured hat. I don't remember if I made the textured hat or if it's a bumpy hat. I will have a link into the description. So this is the first hat I tried, which this hat is instead of working continuous rounds, each round you work back and forth. So you would work one row on the right side and then you would turn and do the work on the right 
on the wrong side. That's how you get the bumps. So you're probably hard to see with this yarn. This yarn is impeccable. That's this one. I believe I'm not quite sure what size hook. I will have that hook in the pattern in the description. So, and this next hat is the end result of the change. So I have the pattern for this hat. And the difference with this one is that I did to make the bump. I did like two triple and two single to get that bumpy effect. Where that hat I just showed you had two singles and two doubles. And I thought I would do triple to give it more of a bumpy hat. Bumpy. This particular hat I made with Carrion Simply Soft for this one. And I believe I used a size, I think I used a size H hook to make this. I have actually have the pattern in my blog and I'll have that linked. This hat I did following another YouTube tutorial to make this hat is the waffle, it looks like it is a waffle stitch hat. This one is yarn is done in the mainstays by Walmart. I'm not quite sure what size hook I used. I think I used the one that was that that was recommended in the video, which might have been a size J, size I. I don't I don't remember. It will be in the video. I'll have the video for this hat linked in there, and it will tell you all the details on how to make this hat. Now these next two hats I made actually a year ago. I don't remember the yarn, but it is it was technically a blanket yarn and it is super, super soft. And it's also kind of hard to work with. It's hard to crochet with, but I think I just randomly started at the top. I did I think I did like 10 DC and this is pretty much all DCs. I just made it I just increased until it was something like six inches and then I just did a bunch of DCs around. It, it, like I said, this is a super soft. I did it last year and it had, it's usually, this yarn had like blue, yellow, and white in it. And I came across a section that had mostly blue. So I have this one I did last year that I saved to send and I have this one. Also done in that really, it's a really soft blanket yarn. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't remember what kind of yarn that was. So this hat was kind of, I kind of, this is has that chevron pattern and the yarn for this is basic stitch by I guess Lion Brand so it was this type of yarn that I used and I think I just pretty much winged this pattern I already I have a I have a pattern on my blog with the chevron hat and I think I was trying to do something slightly different try it and I think I'll just I'll just have a link in there that shows how to uh, do the chevron hat pattern. But I think I tried to do different. I did I tried to do a rib on the bottom and then go into the chevron pattern. But I think I like it better. I don't think I had intended to have it fold up like this, but I like it the brim fold up like this. So kind of different, kind of unique. This is my chevron hat. Now all my remaining hats are all done in my ribbed in my ribbed hat pattern, which I'll have linked. So this again is the yarn is the basic stitch yarn. So I think I change colors every couple of rows, and this is a size I used a size J hook for that. So pretty much all my remaining hats is going to be this pattern. So there's one with basic stitch. Here's another one that's done by the mainstays by Walmart. Here's this one. This hat was the carrion cakes in the blueberry cheesecake. There's also another one that was done in the blueberry cheesecake. So just to let you know, you can make two, you can make two hats easily in this pattern out of the carrying cakes. And here's another one that is also, this is the Walmart Mainstays yarn. And finally, I have this one, this one 
was also was the marble cakes one and the Miyara marble cakes so that is it that is all my hats that I've got done so far for my hat not hate so yeah that's my whole pile of hats so if you like this please like it and subscribe if you or leave comments if you want to see more videos like this I plan on hopefully in the future make videos for my patterns so that is all for now we will see you hopefully later